Hi, my name is Alexandre Bizelli, and I will be talking about my experience at the Tokyo Energy Library competition. So when I found the competition, I was very excited. With the advancements of technology, many traditional institutions don't seem to have a place in the world anymore, and this was a great opportunity to rethink the traditional library. So the brief touched on two important topics to keep in mind when designing the new library. First, the internet dethroned the library as the main source of information, and second, the human disconnection promoted by technology in Japan and all over the world. The brief also suggested different programmatic functions that would complement the library to make it relevant again. This is a common strategy in contemporary libraries built today, but I feel like this is dodging the problem. So I was very happy that the brief was open-minded and I chose to focus on the information problem. The internet contains an unlimited amount of information and the traditional library can only provide a limited amount of books. Well, I think books still have a place in the world today since they offer a different kind of practicality. So what if we could create a library with an unlimited amount of books. With that in mind, the project came to life. Combining virtual reality and all-in-one book machines, anyone can have their own virtual library to review 3D books according to their own correlated searches and then print them. Basically, users go inside the building, down the virtual library floor, which is below the ground level, make online searches and build their own 3D library eventually pick a book they want to print, and then wait for it to slide down. The human disconnection problem is addressed in a very subtle way here. The virtual library floor, where people are most immersed in technology, is placed below ground level in a way that people can watch them wander around and reflect on the condition of our society. The rest of the building comprises open spaces with tables and lounging furniture so users can focus on devices they bring or books they either print or bring with them. Since it has no collection, there's no need for access control. This makes the ever-fleeting library a true public space.